What's up guys, Jeff Checky here with Corsair's Applications Group. I've spent a lot of time with the Corsair Obsidian Series 800D and today we're going to take you through a system build and show you how quick and uh, clean you can get one of these systems up and running. So we'll start off with the motherboard here. We've already got the back plate stuck on there for the H50 which we'll install in a couple minutes. But let's go ahead and get this board screwed down. So this is a micro ATX motherboard you got here, but you have room for standard ATX, of course, and EATX, extended ATX. This case pretty much dwarfs the micro ATX, as you can see, but you got plenty of room in there, even with the bigger boards. Good. So next step is to pop in our CPU here. We got a Core i7. And we're gonna install the H50 on top of that. So we've already got the back plate stuck on here, and usually what I like to do is get the bracket here screwed in just a little bit, not fully tightened yet. We'll do that once we actually seat the uh, H50 in there, but just enough to kind of keep it in place. So next thing is we've got a 120 millimeter spacer here, rubber spacer, which will cut down on vibration and noise. You can also have a 140 millimeter, so you can use either or, but with the H50, we're gonna be using the 120. Here's our fan, and for the H50, you wanna have the air blowing in from the outside. So you got the cold air going through the radiator and keeping things as cool as possible. Gotta line up the holes, screw it in. So the H50 can be mounted in pretty much any orientation, so it's up to you, whatever best fits your situation. Find our last hole there. So here's the fan plug for our fan that's blown through the radiator. There's a little header down here we'll go to for the CPU fan. Like so. And you've got your bracket on here, not tightened down too tight. So now we're gonna mount the H50 cooling block here. Just want to slide it in to the notch, twist it a little bit, line up the logo of course, and lock it into place. From there, just tighten down your screws all the way. Here's your power cable for the pump. Um, usually you don't want to plug it directly into the CPU header because that'll sometimes with some motherboards it'll throttle the speed and you want to run the pump at full blast. So we'll just use this CPU fan header over here next to the dim slots. So that'll bring us to memory installation. We've got some of our Dominator GT modules here. Uh, you want to consult your motherboard manual to find the best installation procedure for that. Every motherboard may be a little bit different. Next up we've got our video card installation. Uh, I've already 
remove some of the PCI slot covers here, taking out three of them just to have plenty of room here to install this card. got our major components installed now we're going to install our Corsair SSD here in one of the hot swappable drive bays. Just pick the top one here. You'll notice that there's two holes in the middle and what those correspond with are the holes in this SSD, the two front ones. So line up just like that. We've got it installed here on, a, on our hard drive cradle. You just slide it right in, line up the rails. Just locks right into place. And there you go, hard drive's installed. So we've got our hard drive installed. Next up's our optical drive. For that, we'll have to take off the front bezel of the case. Easiest way to do it is just to just pull from the bottom comes right off and once you have it off you have to remove any one of these covers here just by pulling it right out that way so you just want to push it right back on line up the holes here snap it right back into the front of the case so now to install the optical drive we're just gonna Push it in until it's flush with the front of the bezel here. And that'll mean that everything lines up, locks right into place. Just slide the lever over here and locks it right in. So next up, we're gonna install our power supply. We're using the HX850. Uh, you'll see you have some rails here on each side. Uh, the power supply will sit on. It gives you some space between the bottom of the case and the dust filter is under there, which is removable and washable. So just slide it into place, see the screw holes line up, 